Welcome back to the Clairo Method. So we are on workout 41. We will be doing a full body workout today. We've got four sets that we'll be repeating through. So just make sure you have your set of dumbbells at the beginning, uh, sorry, at the top of your mat. And we are gonna get started. Come to the back of the mat with me. Start to take your feet hip width distance apart. And if you haven't popped that playlist on already, just click play and then join us when you're ready. So we're gonna take that warm up, inhale, reach your hands all the way high to the sky. Good. We're gonna take a nice full body workout. So rolling yourself all the way down, stretching out each part of your body, walking yourself out to that high plank, pushing those heels away, gazing forward. Just hold for three. Start to build a little strength through the core for two. And then on one, gently walk yourself all the way back. As we do, shimmy your toes out, grab a hold of your ankles, sink those bums down, open up through those hips, take a little shimmy from side to side. Go. Now as we take our little warm up, warm up, start to check in with how you're feeling, what energy levels, what intensity you wanna work out. Good, now keeping a hold of those ankles, you're gonna just draw the sit bones up and then roll it back down. All the way up and then rolling back down. Last couple, one, back down and all the way up, back down, good. This time come out, walk yourself all the way, drop your knees down, reach your right hand all the way high to the sky, gazing it up. Take that hand to the air, draw that elbow down towards the earth and then take it up to the sky. Let's find a little rotation through the body. Good, all the way down, all the way back up. Just give me two more here. Last one, tap, and all the way out. Reach that arm nice and high. Let's swap it over, reach it up, good. Now in just a moment, we're gonna jump straight up to our feet. We're gonna be starting with our, our set one, which is gonna be four exercises that we will repeat two times through. Last one. Tapping it down, this time extend that arm all the way back up. Plant your hands down and let's make our way to our feet, finding a squat twist. So step your feet hip width distance apart. Squat it down, you're twisting towards that left knee, draw all the way, squat down and then twist, great. We're just gonna rotate from side to side, using that breath. Now, so we come through this workout today, we have 40 seconds on, five seconds off. So quick turnarounds, quick changeovers, great. Beautiful, set one's gonna be a perfect warm up. No dumbbells needed for this one. All the way through, you got 10 seconds. We're gonna be coming down to a plank in five, in four, great, you got it, give me one more. And then all the way down, find that plank. Catch a quick breath, tuck your toes, send it back. You're gonna be reaching right hand to left toes. Send it back to your plank, left hand, right toes, good. Now as we move here, can you find some gentle isolation through that core? Start to build strength in those shoulders as you pull back, good. Notice if your back starts to arch as you come down into that plank. We don't wanna see this, wanna keep it nice and strong. Good, all the way, 10 seconds. Beautiful. All right, you're gonna be dropping your knees in about five. Preparing to set up for our donkey kicks. And one, drop those knees down. Reset those hands, catch a breath. Right leg goes back, send it up, flex that foot. Now tap it in and kick it back, great. Now as we start to move here, I want you to take a little check in. How's the lower back feeling? Are the hips nice and square? Are we gazing forward past the top of the mat? Good, use that breath. All the way through. Good work. Starting to add that resistance. Nice. Slowing it down, feel that activation through the glute. We're gonna be swapping sides in three. In two. On a one, drop that knee down. Reset those hands if you need, press into them, and let's release the other side. Tap down, all the way, grip. Now notice as you get fatigued, you're gonna wanna go down like this. Keep pressing into those hands. Zip that belly on, you've got it. Maybe you find a little smile on your face. We're just warming up, Go Halfway through. Focus that breath. 
ice walk all the way. Little tap and little kick. Beautiful walk. We've only got five, four, finish it off and then come straight up to standing for me. All right, off we go. Second round of our set one. So squat to twist, lowering down, let's twist towards that left side, lower all the way, great. Now if at any point you wanna increase the intensity of this workout, just start to speed it up. If you wanna slow it down, take it more low impact, then slow it down, find that isolation. The workout is yours. Let's take it all the way. Good. Nice. Don't give up on yourself. We've got 10 seconds. Good. It's always the last five where we want to stop. So keep going all the way. Last two. And one down to plank. Not much time to rest here. So let's get straight in. Tuck those toes. All right, right hand, left foot. And drive it out. Now you may, may like to grip into those finger pads. If your mat's a little slippery, just make sure that core is on as you come back so you're not sliding all over the place. Good. Beautiful. Same as our squats, if you wanna slow this down, move really controlled. Otherwise, speed it up for a little bit more endurance. Good. We've got five. And drop it down. Good work. Hands back. Take a breather. Right foot back. No time to rest. Tap it down. All the way. Good. Nice. Little tap. Little power. All the way back. Nice work. Now, if you're at home and you do have a booty band or you wanted to take a dumbbell, in the back of your leg to add a little extra resistance, feel free. Otherwise, just keep that control. Nice work. Focus that breath. We're gonna be stopping over in five. Nice work, last bit. And drop that leg down. Square those hips, and let's go straight to the other side. Power kick. Beautiful. This is the last exercise for set one. Then we're going to be dropping our way down into set two, grabbing a hold of those dumbbells as we add a little weight for our next round. Good. Zipping that belly on halfway. Now maybe you catch your breath back. Slow it down. Great. Gazing past the top of that mat. All right, last five. Beautiful. And one, drop those knees, take a quick little stretch back, roll your way up, grab a hold of those dumbbells. We're gonna be moving straight into a punching dumbbell. So feet hip width, little bend, and let's just power our way out all the way. If you need a split stance to give yourself a little bit of extra strength, Please do, great. All right, keep it nice and strong. Chest upright, good. And if you're like me and obsessed with Creed, just embody your inner Creed. Let's go all the way, 10 seconds. Keep it going, nice and strong. All right, last four, last three, last two, and one. Step your way to the back of your mat. We're gonna be coming into a lateral lunge, bicep curl. So we step out, we bend down, we tap, curl as you rise up. Go right down, rise up. Now don't think I forgot the other side. When we come to that second round, we will be swapping to the other leg. So take a little memory note where you've started. Go right. All right. As soon as you finish here, we're gonna be coming down to the ground, laying on your back, feet planted on the earth. Good. Sink that bum back, nice and strong, curl it in. Belly on, and last one. Bring it in, drop those dumbbells down. We do not need them here. Good. Feet down. Lift your chest, curl rib cage to your hip bones, and let's tap 
from side to side. Curve. Now, if your head or your neck does not feel comfortable here, place your hands behind that head, let it relax in and just feel that rotation from side to side. Great. Nice work. 10 seconds here. Then you're gonna rest that head down to the ground nice and flat. In three, in two, in one. Lower your way down. Plant your hands, imprint that lower back. We are rising up to a glute bridge. Now hold, you've got three pulses. And then tap down. Rise up, you've got three, two, one. Lower down, rise. Good. Start to focus that breath, slow it down here. Good. Catch your breath back so when we come up to those punching dumbbells, you're ready to go as hard and as fast as you can. Good. Last little bit. Last one. Up. And let's roll it up. Grab those dumbbells on your way up. Let's make our way. Grab. Split stance if you need. Sink into it, and off you go. Good, as hard and as fast as you can. Good, you got it. Nice. Maybe you visualize that you're in a training camp or a fight camp. Let's go, fight it out. 20 seconds, you're halfway there. Good. These ones always burn out my arms very, very quickly. Let's go. Send it all the way. We're gonna be coming to the back or the other side of the mat in two and one. Good work, keep those dumbbells. Roll it out, step all the way up. Lunging down, curl your way up. Lunge down, curl, great. Nice work. All the way down. All the way up, nice work. Now as you do step back, make sure you're lunging and you're feeling those sit bones, inner thighs and hamstrings switch on rather than just a, you know, land and back up. Two and one, make your way down to the ground. Good work. All right, once again, if you need your hands behind your head, curl it up. Let's go tapping from side to side. You want to be targeting your obliques here. So reach as far as you can. Good. Nice work. If you just go on like this and you're just kind of wriggling around, see if you can place your hand on your belly and actually feel those core muscles switching on. Good. Nice work. Use that breath, keep that head curled in. Five more. And then we're gonna come into those favorite glute bridges. All right, lay it down. Take your hands down. It's quite nice to rest them on the earth to give you that support. Let's lift up, little pulse. And then lower down. Rise it up, little pulse. When you find that pulse, make sure those glutes are firing on. So squeeze them up to the top, drive it up, and then lower back down. Great. All the way, and then lower back down. Let's go. Nice. Last little bit here. And then you can officially say you are halfway through the workout. Let's go. Last five. Lower down. Can we just lift up and roll down? Let's rise all the way up. Coming back into another squat. So step your feet. Hip width distance apart. Sink yourself low, all the way down, taking a little pulse. So you're just staying in this pulse the entire time. If you choose, you can always grab dumbbells, hold them down in front of you, or maybe you tap them to your shoulders. You should feel those inner thighs start to fire on. Good, do not move from here. I don't wanna see anyone lifting all the way up. Stay low, fire it on, you've only got five. Four, then we're picking those dumbbells 
up in two and one. Good work. Grab a hold of those dumbbells. We're gonna find a halo, so you can step hip width distance apart, little bend through those knees, glue those weights together. You're gonna be drawing a giant circle around your head. Good, we're gonna go one direction, and then when we find halfway, we will go the other direction now. <laughs> Good. All right, set to focus that breath. Now, when I do this exercise, I wanna to start to move my hips, but see if you can brace that core and move just the upper body, switching it on nice and strong for three, for two, and one. Okay, come down to the ground. I want you laying on your right side. Right forearm down, bend that bottom knee, take that top leg. We're gonna tap behind and we're gonna tap over all the way. Now it's really easy to just kind of flop into our arm. I want that whole upper body nice and strong as you tap and you tap as if you were drawing a rainbow. Good. Nice work. All the way through. Good. Such a tiny movement. That sucks. <laughs> Last five. Good. Four. And all right, swap it over. So often we forget how much the little movements actually do for us. So let's take it for a little tap, little tap, great. If you notice yourself getting tired and you start sinking, consciously press out of that forearm. Little tap, little tap, great. Finding that rotation, finding that movement, top of the leg, great. All right, you don't have too much longer than here. And then guess what? We're gonna jump straight back up into that sumo squat. This time I'm gonna encourage you to grab those dumbbells, add on a little weight in three, in two, and one. Let's make our way up. Grab either one or two dumbbells, find that sumo squat, and sink it down. Little pulses. Now to gauge how wide you want your sumo squat, we still want those knees to track over the toes. If you find that your knees are starting to flop in, you are too wide and it's probably not gonna feel very comfortable. So play around with the width for your legs. Good. All right, we don't have too much longer here. Keep that belly on. All right, last little bit, stay with me. All right, last five. Four, three, and up, good. Beautiful, okay, we're gonna find those halos. Now, we're not gonna embody our hula dancer. We're just gonna brace that core and circle around our head. Harder than expected. Good, nice work. All the way through. And let's go the other direction. Finding that rotation. Beautiful. Keeping that control. Don't have too much longer here. Last three. Last two. And one. Beautiful. Come straight back down to the ground. Right side. Right forearm goes down. Take that leg out long and let's tap. It's like you want to tap over your mat to get that width, that height, and that mobility through that thigh. Great. A little tap, a little tap all the way, side to side. You've got this, keep that control over and over, pushing out of that forearm. You have four more here. Good. All right, my leg is on fire. Two and one. Good. Bring it in. Swap straight over to the other side. You may even like to notice if there's any imbalances between your left and your right side. Might be one side that's a little bit tighter. Good. Nice work. You can slow your breath down here. We're going to be coming straight up in 20 seconds. 
Coming to our final round. Go all the way. Keep that mobility through that hip. Little tap from side to side. It's not often that we move the leg in this direction. So you're probably feeling all those supporting muscles. Two and one. All right, up to your feet. You're gonna love us. We're back into a squat hold. So feet here with distance apart this time. Sink it low. Push your bum back, brace that core on. I want you to shift that weight from side to side. Good. I saw, keep that chest proud. Now as we fatigue, we're gonna to start to fold our chest over, lift it up and keep that weight transferring from side to side as we move. Good. Nice work. All the way through, from side to side. Keep that body strong, you got it. Sink that bum back. Last fire for me. Do not lift those legs. Stay low for two and one. Come down to the ground. Option, either on your knees or on your toes. Grab one dumbbell into your right hand. We are rowing it back and we are sending it down. All the way back, all the way down. Now it's really important our hips are not wobbling. So if you need, you're on your knees, keeping it nice and strong. If you wanna challenge yourself, you stay on your toes all the way through. Good, nice work. I can't do the whole thing on my toes. <laughs> All right, switch it in. We're gonna be swapping straight to the other side. In five. Take that elbow back past the rib cage and swap that dumbbell over. Once again, if you wanna challenge yourself, you can begin on your toes and then when it gets too much, start to lower your knees down. Beautiful. Now it is important that the hips stay nice and strong, nice and square and we're not wobbling all over the place here. Row that elbow back, gaze it forward, and then when you need to, drop the knees. If you have just small dumbbells, you can always add a second dumbbell in for extra weight if you choose. Otherwise, staying here, last little bit, and then make your way up to standing for me. In three, in two, and one, good. On your way up, grab that other dumbbell. Take yourself nice and strong. Reach those dumbbells above your head. Now we're gonna be alternating. So we're gonna be taking it down and then overhead, down, then overhead. Your body may start to arch like this. I want you to tuck that pelvis under, curl that spine, keep it nice and strong through that core. Nice work. Beautiful, all the way down, all the way back up. Last little bit, then we're coming to those squats in three, in two, and one. Last round, feet here with distance apart. If you wanna challenge yourself some more, take those weights onto your shoulders, sink it down. Let's rock our way from side to side. Good. Using that breath, finding that sway, one side and then the other. Good, all the way down. Sink those bums back. Keep it nice and controlled. You've got it. Stay, stay, stay with me. Nice, good. You can do this. We're gonna be coming down to the ground in that row in 10 seconds. Notice if you start to sway up, bend down. Just give me five more. Last three. Last two and one, drop it down. Take that one single dumbbell, either knees or toes, keep your hips forward. Let's row it back. Send it back and then forward. Slowing that breath down. Good. Now as we find this final round, I want you to emphasize that squeeze on the back of the shoulder blades all the way back. You got it, squeeze, send it back. Nice work, good. Stay with it. Good, keep going. We're gonna swap in three, in two, and one. Good, nice. Okay, swapping to the other side. All the way, keep those hips forward, squeeze, exaggerate, and then bring it down. Nice work, 
So to focus that breath. Good. You got it. Nice work. Notice if you're just kind of rowing up and down, you really want to emphasize that strength as we pull and then send it back. Finding a little softening in that face. You can do this. We are nearly there. You just have those triceps to go. You are here for five, for four. Stay with me, last two and one. Make your way up, last exercise. Brace that core, feet hip width. Take those dumbbells above your head and let's tap it down one at a time, all the way back. I start to feel those triceps switching on, finding that little power, finding that control. Good, soften through the face. We are here, not too much longer. Good. Stay with me, all the way down, all the way back. Finding a gentle breath. Final five here. You can do this. Do not give up, take it all the way to the end. Last two and one. Thank goodness for that. Drop those dumbbells, grab a quick drink if you need it and we're gonna come to a nice cool down. Give yourself a little pat on the back. You made it, you did it, you got to the end. Congratulations, let's take our way. Link those fingertips together. We're gonna push our palms all the way up to the sky. Take a nice little sway over to the right side. Good. And let's take a little sway all the way over to the other side. Take it nice and controlled. Let's find our way back through center and release those hands. The right hand is gonna go down the upper back. Take the left hand on top. Tuck that pelvis under and stretch out through those triceps. Grim. And as you find this cool down, as you start to slow down within your body, checking in energy levels, checking in what exercises worked for you and what didn't. Let's swap all the way over to the other side. Great. Pushing your head back into that arm. Nice work, slowing it down. And then reach it up, roll yourself down. Let's roll our way, taking a nice forward fold. Bend through those knees, inhale, let's ripple halfway. Exhale, roll it down. Decompress through that lower back, inhale, halfway. Exhale, lower down, good. Last one, inhale, halfway, hold, hold, hold. Left hand's gonna come underneath the face and then right fingertips are gonna go up to the sky. Here, bending into that left knee, stretch out through that right side, find that rotation. And let's take it all the way to the other side. Thank you so much guys for joining us for workout 41. We will be back tomorrow with workout 42. So come and join us and get the sweat on once again. So thank you so much and we will see you back tomorrow.